started to pick the long gun. Many of them started to crack, so it's not so good. The pros and cons of living in Thailand. I come from Denmark, so it will be like also a bit like Denmark versus Thailand because many other places are like Thailand so you need to know that it's a uh, Scandinavian comparing uh, as, like living in Scandinavia to a country like Thailand um, but foremost and most important uh, the b greatest pro of uh, for me to live in Thailand is that my wife leg is Thai and that's um, it's a great benefit to be in a country where you're married to the other person because there are so many benefits uh, from that uh, for instance visa and all that stuff that is like everything makes it uh, easier if we would move to a different country it would be much more difficult for us also if we would need to move to Denmark it would also be very very difficult for for like to go there so that's completely a big benefit and also the family family is nearby family and friends so that gives um, some kind of security and also uh, if we need help then there there is like a lot of help uh, from from the family and friends so great pro advantage of living in Thailand for for me also another pro is that you you can grow your own food all year round because there is no the, the 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 soil will never freeze here even though it's uh, not completely like equatorial subtropical so it's not tropical it's uh, subtropical so and we are a bit elevated so we like we have the mountain fruits here we have the the longan here longan is the like primary harvest and also we grow the the mangoes so like having uh, different seasons of fruits is a great benefit of living in in Thailand another benefit is and pro is that the cost of living is very low like if you live in well the cost of living can be put on a very low level if you grow your own food in almost any country and if you know how to and especially if you live of like plants so like a staple for me here in Thailand is bananas the apple banana is growing everywhere and I have like we have so much banana that, that there is like more than we can eat and I can fill up the freezer with bananas if I if I want to but now I have mangoes and bananas in the freezer so 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 a freezer is a good thing to have if you live in Thailand and you grow your own food the cost of living is very low, especially on the countryside, especially if you live in a community um, where we, we, for instance, have the temple. From the temple there is a well and there the water comes from there. So the cost is actually from the, the community that is in the village. So it's like maintained by the village completely. Uh, we have, they, they had run these tests by the government if it's like drinkable and stuff like that. So it has like the certified that it's okay to drink it. Um, but still you need the, the filter. And then I can sneak in a disadvantage here. Because you need to, to have some kind of filter for, for the water. Um, because you don't really know what's, what's in the water. So you need water filtering. Compared to Denmark where you can almost drink the tap water from anywhere. Um, which is a, a great advantage advantage of like Scandinavia and many other countries uh, around the world where you can drink uh, where, where the where the water is tasty and healthy to drink that is uh, a good thing I mean many places you drink the tap water but but I don't think it's tasty and in many places people even drink the the water even you can taste the chlorine chlorine <laughs> chlorine chlorine in the water so yeah I mean it really depends on what kind of water you want to drink so it's it's definitely a disadvantage that you cannot drink the tap water in Thailand many people depend on on, on the water either you need to have your own filtering system but again they have a lot of these uh, reverse osmosis machines but um, 
you need to find a good machine that is where the filters are being ma maintained correctly. Disadvantages. Well, one of the main disadvantages is if you, um, for instance, live in the countryside um, and you want to surround yourself with like-minded people, then it um, can be a little bit hard because um, people like everywhere else, they tend to make do what's easy for them, like I, <laughs> I do it myself. For them, like using chemicals and plastic and stuff like that, it's not, uh, plastic is not that bad and chemicals are not that bad, it's just like easy. Something like the, the plastic bags were like a very, um, it's like uh, you need to, if you go shopping, you need to have it on, on one finger, uh, each shopping bag, so you can have a lot of stuff on each finger. Uh, and that's like, um, you know, you know, even if you get a plastic cup with something to drink, it will be in a bag, so you can just have it on one of your fingers, so you don't have to hold a cup uh, with something uh, with a drink for you. So, so that's the that's the, the that's the mindset. It needs to be as easy as possible. If you you need to have as many things on your fingers as possible, so it's uh, easy for you to carry, and not so much about um, living a sustainable life where you grow organic food, but. The good thing, maybe one of the pros, is that there is a movement of like organic and like 7-Eleven is trying to stop the no plastic bag. The people working in 7-Eleven are asking people if you want a, a plastic bag with your groceries and, and then you can say no. And it's a really good idea to bring your own bags and, and they had those really good bags in Denmark from Kiwi. Kiwi? What's it called? Kiwi? Yes, the green bags from Kiwi. I still have like five or six of them, but I'm trying to find more of these. They're, they're, they're just so strong and so um, so thin and so light, but strong. So they are really easy to have a, lot, a bunch of them. Just pack them in and just have them with you when you travel and stuff like that. It's really, really good to have also to carry fruit and stuff like that. So and and people like take pictures when we when I carry stuff in uh, in these green bags sometimes so it's it's quite fun and also one of the pros of Thailand is that people are very welcoming like uh, for foreigners like oh you're a foreigner wow like they will invite you to to get get a drink and stuff like that that so it's different from from Denmark like if you see somebody that is not Danish then it's like not like. <laughs> You're just not like open and invited like like that um, most of the time. When you cycle around, people are just like most of the time. Thai people are very friendly, um, especially if you go out. Um, both in tourist like there are some tourist areas where 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 everything is about the money, but if you go in other areas, there is also a, a, yeah people are different and. But in general, I think that Thai people are very friendly and nice and smiling and welcoming. That's what I what I what I feel in, in general. One of the disadvantages is that there's like a heavy dependency on tourism, and that makes it um, hard for for Thai people and also for the tourists. You know, when they some tourists they feel like they're like being attacked by by Thai people because it's like they're living and, and that is like a, a little bit of a, a bad mix sometimes when large parts of business are dependent on tourists coming to Thailand. One of the worst things about Thailand is like in connection with plastic and stuff like that is and, and, and people what people think about environment is that um, the way you clean up in Thailand is you make a pile then you burn it and it doesn't matter what's in the pile if it's a wet tree if it's a wet if there are wet leaves um, and that generates a lot of smoke and you can also put batteries and plastic and all kinds of thing and just burn it all uh, and that is just like um, they, they just do it because it's easy and, and that's one of the, the things that is like a, a big disadvantage of, um, of, of Thailand. And I think that's also, uh, in general, the same case in many, many Southeast Asian countries and Southeast Asian areas. 
I think we just need to spread more information about how to handle these things uh, and for me it's just like <laughs> I hope they soon will find a bacteria where you can just have a pile of plastic and then you can just put some bacteria in and then they will the bacteria will consume the plastic that would be like the super super good thing uh, if we could do that the smoke in the smoke season when it's very dry it's like it gets really bad and it's also like from the other countries and you never know where it comes from and they're like people hypothesize about where the smoke is coming from and burning of the fields and burning of the mountains so so some people can pick the the mushrooms and like some people if they depend on the mushrooms like for the living then it's like they will do it's like they, it's um, it threatens their lives if they don't get the mushrooms they might not be able to pay for school which is like it's it's their life to to go to school like to send their children to school is the life for many Thai people so having that dependency on, on having to send your children to school and pay for that that's uh, that can stress many people and then can make people burn mountains and to pick mushrooms and, and stuff like that so yeah I think I've covered a couple of topics I think like the the air quality is a big dis disadvantage and like um, having the freedom of growing your things is one of the biggest pros of Thailand um, I could mention many other things like this advantage also that there are mosquitoes and bugs in, in the wet season like mosquitoes can be annoying so that's also a disadvantage if we didn't have mosquitoes that would be extremely great the amounts of chemicals they find in in the soils around and in the vegetables in the markets is just like um, a bit disturbing uh, young people also think more about this so I think maybe the next generation will help push the organic movement even more and also the air quality and like like many school children in like Chiang Mai the northern uh, city tourist city like like many children are like being educated and are like wearing masks now during the dry season so it affects them a lot like like many children of uh, pe uh, parents who uh, smoke uh, the, those children are also very affected of like other people smoking in one way or the other so I think uh, like the smoking in many countries have gone down so not not so many people uh, I think I don't know uh, really but I think that the amount of people smoking in Denmark is lower than maybe 10 or 20 years ago so and I think that the same will happen with uh, people burning and using chemicals in Thailand.